Hello there. Now, let's take the derivative of arc secant of x. So here we see a plot of arc secant of x. Now what I want to point out here is arc secant takes in numbers and outputs angles. It's traditional to write y up here, but I've written theta to help us remember that arc secant outputs angles. Uh, the domain of arc secant is uh, the real numbers whose absolute value is greater than or equal to 1. And so here we can see it. And there's a horizontal asymptote for arc secant, arc secant at pi over 2, oh, at the, the line y equals pi over 2. And uh, if we think about something, let's look at this. Arc secant is always increasing. Here it's increasing and here it's increasing. So, so its derivative had better always be positive. Now that we know what the graph looks like, let's go ahead and actually try to do it. We're going to use implicit differentiation. We're going to use the chain rule. And uh, technically, I think we're going to use the inverse function theorem. Now we have arc secant of x equals theta. Again, to remind us that arc secant takes in numbers and outputs angles. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to say, well, this, this, this is true exactly when secant of theta is equal to x. I really haven't done anything here. All I've done is basically write what this means. And so let's keep on going and let's, let's write this equation down. So secant of theta is equal to x. Now this is equality. So what I can do is uh, I can differentiate both sides. I can write, uh, and I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x because look, theta is equal to arc secant of x. This is a function of x. This is where we're using implicit differentiation. So I'm going to write d over dx of secant of theta. That's equal to d over dx of x. Well, the derivative of x with respect to x, even I know that, it's 1. And the derivative of secant of theta, well, that's going to be secant uh, theta times tan theta times the derivative with the chain rule. Is this chain rule popping, of, popping this out? d uh, theta d x. Aha. So this means that d theta over dx is equal to 1. I'm dividing both sides by secant theta tan theta. Secant theta tan theta. Now there's only one problem with this answer. I mean, we're almost, this answer kind of looks like we're done because we just took the derivative of theta. Theta is equal to arc secant of x, and we took the derivative with respect to x, and we have 1 over secant theta tan theta. The only problem is, is that we want to write this thing entirely in terms of x. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a triangle. And the triangle that we're going to draw, we're going to draw a right triangle. Here it is. Here's my, my, my right triangle. Uh, it looks like a 45, 90, 45 triangle, but it's not. It's just some triangle. And it has angle theta here. And we want to write a triangle so that um, x is equal to secant theta. Okay, so secant is 1 over cosine, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So the triangle that's going to have, when you plug in theta here, you're going to label this with x and this with 1. And then using the Pythagorean theorem, we'll find out that this side has length x squared minus 1. Uh-huh. Well, what's that mean? Well, what, the, what this really means is that at this point, we can say a couple things. We can say, well, we can compute secant of theta. Secant of theta is going to be, let's see, what is secant of theta? It is, it is 
hypotenuse over adjacent, so that's equal to something like x, and tangent of theta, that's opposite over adjacent, that's this over this, so it's going to be the square root of x squared minus 1. Let's take a second to investigate the graph of arcsecant once more, and we're going to see our old frenemy, the unit circle. So here we see a plot of arcsecant, and notice that for various values of x, arcsecant only outputs values between 0 and pi. All right, not including, of course, pi over 2. So if we think about uh, secant of theta, that's 1 over cosine, and tan theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. And if you look at our derivation of the derivative of arc secant of x, we're working with secant theta times tangent of theta. So let's see if we can shed a little light on what this is. So if our angle theta is between 0 radians and pi over 2 radians, as this angle is, uh, then cosine is represented by this distance here, and you can see cosine is positive. Sine is represented by this distance here. Sine is positive, so uh, 1 over cosine is positive. Sine theta over cosine theta is positive. So secant theta times tangent theta is positive. Now, if our angle on the other hand, is um, larger than pi over 2. It's between pi and uh, pi over 2. Here's our larger angle. There it is. Um, yeah, it's kind of confusing how I drew that, but that looks okay. So it's this big angle here. Uh, now what's happened? Well, in this case, cosine, cosine is negative. Here we go. This is cosine. Cosine is negative. And sine is this distance here. Sine is still positive. So 1 over cosine is negative. And tangent, which is sine theta over cosine, is negative. But negative times negative is positive. So secant theta times tangent theta is positive. So whenever theta is between uh, 0 and pi, secant theta times tangent theta is positive. So when we get back to our derivative here, and we want to replace secant of theta with x and tan theta with this, we have to keep in mind that for the thetas we're talking about, the ones between uh, 0 and pi, it can never be the case that we multiply these together and get a negative number. And the only way to take care of this, to, to enforce this, is to write this as the absolute value of x times x squared minus 1. Because what is the square root of x squared? It's the absolute value. So this also has to have the absolute value. And what's theta equal to? It's arc secant. This is the derivative. So d over dx of the arc secant of x is equal to 1 over the absolute value of the square root of x squared minus 1. So we've taken the derivative of arc secant of x. This is one of the more complicated uh, basic derivatives of calculus. All right, time to do some more math.